Hey, what's going on everybody? Welcome to the Scarecorp channel. Let's talk go-kart spindles. Alright, so I've made some spindles for the go-kart. Let's just kind of go over all of this stuff, all of these pieces, and I'll show you what they all do. So first off, I made the the E bracket here or the C the C bracket. So I just used one inch flat stock by a quarter inch, and they're about four to four and a half inches. I can't remember long, with some holes on the top and the bottom. So just basically made a perfect C with them. Then I'm using 5 8 bolts, 6 inches. And the idea is that they'll go through. And basically you'll have your, then you'll have your, your spindle. So the other part that comes into this is the, the rocker arm. So this is what will attach directly to your wheels. So this again is that six inch bolt welded to uh, DOM tubing. This is 5 8 ID. So the inner diameter is 5 8 They're about two inches long and they're about a quarter inch thick so this is a little bit thicker than I wanted but that's what was available so I grabbed that so I have two of those and then I have these springs um, I'm not sure exactly what they're off of you can get them at any tractor supply store you can get some thicker ones and some smaller ones and so the inside diameter again is 5 8 so that's our that's what we're working with and then I have a bunch of these washers that are also inner diameter 5 8 and I believe they're like I don't know two inches or so long they're a little bit too wide uh, but uh, I'll see if I can make that work so this is the idea So you're going to, so I'm not sure exactly where I'm going to put the washers yet. That will all come into play a little later once I figure out um, where the friction is going to be the most here. Okay, so you're going to basically add this and then the spring. And then the nylon lock or uh, nut. Okay, so I won't tighten that all the way. But this is, in a nutshell, what you will have. So what the spring allows you to do is give you extra suspension. So it's not much, but but it will it will I think it'll help out a lot. I know a lot of people don't bother with this step, but I, I like this step. I've seen it at a bunch of different places. It's, it's actually pretty sweet. So, so there you have it. So this will then connect to our tire. So this will go on like that, and with the other side will be the nut. So you see that I have a little extra here, and I want that extra because I don't want it to be 
this close to the rim you know so as this turns my radius is going to be shrunk so I want this actually to come out that much and what I'm probably going to end up doing is using more of that DOM tubing on this side to be able to separate the wheel from the spindle so let's just kind of see how this will look and where this will mount okay so this is the front of the frame I don't have the bottom piece here the front welded yet it'll sit flush um, on, on this and the and, the and it won't be as long it'll be probably cut somewhere around there but the idea is that the the tire or the the spindle where are you? the spindle will connect to that so the spring will be on the top and the and when I mount this okay, let me take this off when I mount this I'll be mounting it like that so this it'll be welded right in there so there's a number of ways you can do this you can put it in the middle but what I'm gonna do is bring it up a little bit or sorry I'm going to bring it down a little bit and that will raise the card up as well so by having this thing on the bottom and this thing closer to the top section this will raise the whole card up a little bit because my back tires are bigger than the front and that way it'll help to level it out a little bit and raise the whole card up a bit all right, so also when doing this part, you don't want to keep your spindles vertical, 100% vertical. You actually want to do a little bit of a caster. You want to do a back caster. And that way it will allow for the tire to ride on there more properly and the, the physics of it will work a lot better. So for, for how much caster, you want to go between between 5 and 10 degrees back so not not too much but just just a little bit so I think I'm gonna go probably around 5 I'm not gonna go all the way to 10 I'm probably just gonna do it right around 5 alright well I'm probably going to weld these guys on here I gotta cut this piece out a little bit make it a little bit shorter then I'm going to weld this on here and then I'll show you how that looks. Alright, so there it is, more or less. Everything's just kind of tack welded together. So the bar here is new and the spindles are attached to that bar. And the wheels as well. So there's a bit of a caster on this. It's about five degree or so. You can see. So you can see there's just where I uh, tack welded right there. So, but more or less. Well, just a bit of an update here that's what I'm dealing with now so I still need to have my my plate for to come out probably back on the way back and then I can attach the steering rods to that all right well I think uh, that'll be it for this update run out of uh, electrodes for my welder so so I'll be wrapping this up now alright well if you have any comments or questions let me know down below I will try to make another video maybe when I'm doing something else to also show you how I did the the plates for the steering rack alright and if you like this video please uh, rate it and hit the subscribe button and that will update you as soon as new videos come out 
Alright, I believe that is it for my time, and I do thank you for yours. Have a good one. Bye.